Now that uh, now that the audience can't hear us anymore, let's get this show going. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Ritual Misery Podcast, episode 130, is it really 134 this week? It is. 30. Okay, 134. Sure, why not? Uh, for Thursday, the 13th of July, 2017, this is the show where two lifelong friends and, uh, and their guests celebrate all things geek. I'm Amos, and I'd like to introduce my first guest, uh, Kent, aka Del Noche. How are you doing? It's been a while since you've been on the show. Uh, yeah, glad to be back. Uh, this is this is great. Thanks for having me on. Uh, no problem. I mean, we're we're always trying to get uh, get people new and old on the show. So, uh, uh, you know, um, hey man. Uh, before we get to uh, before we get to any other kind of craziness, I want to introduce a couple people. Okay. Uh, I don't know who they are though. They're just, they're holding me hostage in my house. <laughs> in your house. It's very true. Oh. Oh no! I hear familiar voices. Uh-oh. Who do we have? Uh, we have one each. Uh, should we go in age order? I guess. I guess that's the appropriate way to do it, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Say sure. the old ones. Go the old it. one first. Old one first. Okay. So, <laughs> uh, the not quite elderly lady to my right is Miss Amber Jean Lemos. Uh, my my daughter, my oldest daughter. Wow. Yeah. I'll, um. That'd be your cue to say something, Amber. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> you say. <laughs> um, also known as uh, Cool Kid Three Thousand in the group chat. She has delusions of grandeur. Um, <laughs> Who? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, oh man. And Kids and off to my left is the slightly less elderly uh, Ashley Elizabeth Lemos. Uh, howdy. I draw dogs. That's that's all I do. My name is Ashley. Cool. She's been in rehab for a while, so I mean, that's, that's all she's got. Is. <laughs> Hey man, um, it's been a crazy couple weeks. You were in freaking Germany. Like you're all pissed off that you had to go to Germany. And I'm just sitting there thinking, man, like if I could go to Germany, like, <gasps> Oh no, dude. G- so Germany is amazing. Yeah. Uh, I used to live there for five years and I went to the same area that I used to live in. So it was absolutely awesome. I was just upset with the timing of it. Hmm. I was home less than 12 hours from Nertacular when I had to get back on an airplane. Mm-hmm. And go to Germany for a week. Uh, so the timing really sucked. Oh, did I mention I was traveling on my birthday? Um, <laughs> no, but it didn't matter to us. So, yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it mattered to me, and it it kind of bummed me out. I didn't, you know, I was not a fan of the timing at all. But once I landed in Germany on your birthday, it, no, it'd be in the day after your birthday by uh, that point. Yeah, right? on the fourth of July, I landed in Germany. And it took about a full day to wipe the shit and grin off my face. Like I felt like I was home and it was amazing. Hmm. Uh, fortunately, I was there for work. So, <laughs> so I had to do work stuff. But um, in the off time, it was, it was great. I got to see people I haven't seen in almost five years. I uh, got to visit my old stomping grounds, got to drink some German beer, went to a German fest, hmm. did a bunch of German stuff. And it was a really good time. Awesome. Um, we what did we do this weekend? We we played Cards Against Humanity. Um, joking Hazard. Joking Hazard. Yeah, that's that was another one we played. Yeah, uh, uh, it's the, pretty fun. The kids watched Boss Baby about five times. That was, that was uh, pretty great. Have, have you so seen the movie Boss Baby? Boss Baby? No, I uh, see. I I watched the trailer, and to me, it looked not my style of ridiculous. Uh, apparently right. mine either because I didn't watch it at all. It, it was on the TV the entire weekend. I didn't watch it. Um, you know something I did watch though. I finally buckled down and uh, and told Amber, uh, held her hostage and made her watch Clerks. Yeah. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah. That's a class. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, so uh, can, can you give us a uh, give, give us a five word review on Clerks? I know it's so much it's hard to contain, right? Like it's yeah, yeah. That's a that's a hell of a review. Like I I, I would give I would give your review five stars. Uh, it was black and white. Okay, here we go. It's, it's Clerks. Hmm. Clerks was a good movie. There you go. So uh, a resounding review from Amber. Um, there we go. 
Uh, and yeah, apparently chat room is getting some some hiccups uh, uh, signal wise from us. Um, I'm gonna try to fix that real quick here by texting some people to get the hell off my internet. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it, it was fun. It was fun to actually sit down and rewatch it because it had been a while since I sat down and just watched it from start to finish. Um, and you forget how the story progresses and how it kind of builds upon itself when you're just watching clips of it. Um, man, really good. I enjoyed it. Yeah, Clerks is one of those, like, I, I think I watched it, uh, it's probably been a couple years now, but I watched it fairly recently, um, and I think it holds up. It It's a little bit dated, but it still holds up, unlike Mallrats. Have oh, you watched you're... Mallrats lately? No, you're saying Mallrats does not hold up? It did not hold up for me. Oh, hmm. But no. Chasing Amy did. Well, Chasing Amy was ahead of its time anyway. Like, we had to catch up to Chasing Amy before we could right. wait for it Act. to fall out. He had to chase Act. Chasing Amy. <laughs> yeah, we were chasing Chasing Amy. Um, <laughs> it, 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 you know, I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see how, how, she, uh, how Amber goes through those other, other few movies there because I, I've always enjoyed them and everything else. So it'll be, it'll be good. It'll be fun. Um, we also picked up the D and D starter set because Amber and Ashley would like to play Dungeons and Dragons. Very nice. More and like he's forcing us, but <laughs> not that much of a difference. Yeah, yeah. They're like, "Hey, can we play D and D?" I was like, "Sure." They're like, "Oh my God, you're forcing us to have fun." <laughs> <laughs> mandatory fun. Yeah, this man, is man, mandatory nerdiness. Yeah, man, mando fun. Hey, uh, while I was in the in the in the bookstore in the Barnes and Noble, um, I was in that section, and as I was like browsing the different books and things like that. Other people like coalesced around me. <laughs> and this one lady was sitting there. We started talking about Dungeons and Dragons and stuff like that. And it was, it was cool. And this lady across like one aisle over from me, she's like looking over the aisle at me. And she's telling me that she's sending her daughter away to Dungeons and Dragons camp what? for two weeks. What? What? The fuck Dungeons and Dragons camp, and can I go? Right. Like, how do I? How what? Where where did my life go wrong that I'm not doing that? <laughs> exactly. Um, gosh. I, I, I just I was like, holy shit! And of course, then she like doo -doo 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 -doo, starts walking off somewhere. Uh, before I had, I, I wasn't gonna go chase her down and ask her about the Dungeons and Dragons camp, but that was like my my jaw dropped. I was like, what the what? How? Where's where's this at? Um, so yeah, that was an, that was an interesting experience in the old, uh, Barnes and Noble there. Yeah. Very, very, very cool. I'm actually Googling Dungeons and Dragons camp right now and it <laughs> auto filled, it auto filled the Dungeons and Dragons campaign. So, um, uh, cool. not the same, not the same. <laughs> Just got to keep looking. All right, so the, so the first result that I get is actually a LARP summer camp in LA. Hmm. Not the same. Mm -mm. Not quite the same. I, I think we're going to run into a whole lot of not the same on this one. <laughs> uh, it's unfortunate. Um, hey, dude, uh, I got to tell you, man, we uh, we lost a patron this month. Yeah, it happens. Yeah, and we gained a patron this month. That happens as so well. So we are at a net zero. <laughs> uh, hey, that's good. We, it, no, I'm, I'm not complaining at all. That's that's amazing. I, I wish we had just gained and not lost. But um, Tom Merritt on DTNS likes to say that month after month, he just wants to make sure he has one more patron than the previous month. Here on the Original Misery Podcast, we just want to make sure we have uh, no fewer patrons than the previous month. <laughs> um, <that's laughs> It's always a good thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and uh, in, ca in case people are, are, have missed out, uh, we did throw a, a, um, a, a patron-only... Uh, poll out there and we got some decent feedback from that we actually got some comments and things like that and we'll be throwing some more out there uh, essentially we want to make this the best show that we can and we're making the show for us we're making the show for you and however that jives out that's what we want to do so um, I just realized that I'm not recording separate tracks so I hope everything comes out okay <clears throat> yeah um, yeah so for main topic this week, uh, we don't have like a big thing because like both of our lives are just kind of crazy this week. Um, I would like to ask Amber and Ashley a few questions um, just randomly off the top of my head. Uh, and Kent, I would like you to judge their answers, uh, not not as a father and not as a, a, a man of the Internet 
but as um, a Martian. As a Martian. As a Martian. Okay. Am I am I judging on any sort of a scale, or am I just given like? I mean, whatever the Martian standard is. Okay. Copy. Okay. Okay. Like, I mean, hopefully you can be consistent, but I mean, because you just went to Germany, that's like practically Mars from here. So, (laughs) um, I think sure you you should be able to. A lot of Martians live in Germany. Uh, probably, Pro- I mean, I've, I've, I think I've met a few here. Uh, <laughs> okay, um, so, so Amber, question number one: uh, What is the airspeed velocity of an unladen swallow? I don't know. <laughs> I'm proud I mean, of you. Uh, that is the correct answer. <laughs> it, 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 I was going to say, technically, it is correct. <laughs> there are no swallows of any kind on Mars, so her answer is correct. Okay, okay, okay. Awesome. All right. Um, Ashley. Hi. What, uh, let's, let's, let's find another good question here. Another good question. Oh, what is the variance in possibility of a roll of 2D10? All right, it's it's probably uh, from one to thirty, um, starting with a seven. Okay, um, th- that's her answer. Um, so, on Mars, the gravity is roughly the same. So, I'm going to judge her answer correct as well. Okay. Okay. So, thank you. That's 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 good. Joe Mon Joe Mon says twenty three. Um, uh, well, is twenty three ever wrong? I mean, I I, I don't know. It, I, it could be. That, that which, was a swallow question. I'm I'm just gonna ask which which 23 does he mean? Because there's so many so many 23s out there and they don't get along. <laughs> um, have you have you seen the the little video where where Michael Jordan is trash talking on uh, LeBron James? Hmm. I the have the not. Oh my gosh, it's it's amazing. I uh, totally got to check that out. It's it's really good. We don't get YouTube on Mars. Oh. We don't get YouTube here either. So that's yeah. Cool. I haven't watched YouTube in like a week, which isn't that long, but you know. Oh, is this is this because of sadistic parental policy? Yeah. Yes. Yes. It's, it's, <laughs> and I've, I've used all of my data almost for the first time ever. I'm usually only using like four or five gigabytes. I've used seventeen in the past month. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I am. You're a yep. you're a sadist, Dad. Uh <laughs> oh, I'm I'm sorry. It's just that's how that's how it is. I usually rewatch all my favorite shows over the summer so I can be like up to date with them for new seasons or whatever. Uh, I can't do that here because uh, it's not on Netflix and that's all they have. <laughs> uh, I, I so Ash, but what are your that. what are your favorite TV shows? Like what what would you be watching this week if you had been able to rewatch your favorite shows? Uh, probably Steven Universe, <laughs> Mars Tube, Mars Tube, um, <laughs> Steven Universe. At Basically all I watch. Um, and then I'd probably binge watch some House MD. Uh, so it's not lupus. No. Not I, I, pro- I don't really watch TV that much. It's, uh, it's, it, uh, it's pretty much always uh, uh, Legionnaire's disease. Right. Amber, have you ever had lupus? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> probably. I guess, guess not. <laughs> she, <laughs> it's never lupus. She's 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 still thinking. Isn't uh, isn't amnesia like one of the leading uh, symptoms of of lupus? Isn't that isn't that how that works? <laughs> no, I, for, I don't I think forget so. What Remember that one episode where it was lupus? <laughs> mm. I think there was an episode where it was lupus, and then they figured out it wasn't. Uh, but see. the guy had already died, so it didn't matter. All right. Well. <laughs> I, I mean, is it really ever lupus? Um, sometimes on Mars, it's actually lupus. Oh, well, I mean, there you go. So there, okay. 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 Uh, Amber, what is the meaning of, of, uh, the meaning of life? There is no meaning to life. Uh, wrong. The meaning of life is to reproduce (laughs) and die. (laughs) These are, (laughs) these are my nihilist children. These are my nihilist children right here. Yeah, Um, this, yeah, this adds up. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. <laughs> so if you, if you asked either of my two kids what the answer to or what the meaning of life is, they will both answer forty two. Right. Because right. I raised my kids right. Um, well, I mean, you know, uh, maybe. 
Uh, <laughs> well, every I mean, seen. I mean, if you want to be hopeful and everything, I, I, I can see where 42 is like, you know, a positivity answer, I but mean, whatever. Someone in the chat said 42. Is he your kid? Uh, no, Joe, I, Mom, Joe I, Mon I, is I, definitely not uh, Kent's child. Have you guys Exposed. ever gotten a DNA test? Uh, that's that's a valid question. Um, no, I can't find his mother. Uh, to uh, <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, she's not on Mars. This this really just got dark. <laughs> <laughs> his mother's from an asteroid uh, near Pluto. Oh, uh, so Uh-oh. you're kind of like an interstellar interstellar uh, 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 specimen spreader. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Space whale. Uh, I mean, I've, I've I've been around the universe. <laughs> a- Amber says you're a space whale. <laughs> <laughs> I I mean, I I don't know how to take that, but I'm gonna say it's probably uh, it's probably about right. <laughs> oh my gosh. So uh, Amber, Ashley answered what her favorite shows are. If you had one show that you could watch for the rest of your life, what would it be? I like how you pigeonhole her into only one show after giving Ashley like three. It's like, I only Honestly, watch one show. <laughs> the only show I care about Steven Universe at this point. Steven Universe. Um, um, okay, so Amber, what about you? I'm already living up to that. I watch Friends 24-7. There you go. Uh, she's, she's seen the whole series about five times now. Yep, and I'm working on six. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Wow. <laughs> you you ought to get like a, like a Friends... Trivia, pers- trivial pursuit, or something like that, and and see how much you actually retained. Uh, <laughs> um, I, we, her her mom used to have one because we used to have one, and then uh, yeah, her, we have it. yeah, seen see, it or something. yeah, the t- the friends uh, seen uh. it. Yeah, we played it for like Christmas, and it, it it was too easy, and then it was either way too easy or way too hard. Like, you know what? You uh, know what? what shoe color was this uh, specific character wearing in this scene? It's funny because she's lying. We never played it before. We have <laughs> What the heck? <laughs> Ashley played it without you. You were sleeping on the couch. Honestly, and probably. She, and she was just like, man, I'm winning all of these games. Playing it, playing it by herself. Just <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I've never watched Friends before. I don't get do, it. Do you have a space <laughs> modulator? No, I do not. Uh, thanks for asking. Wrong show. Wow. Yeah, that, that's yeah, actually pronounced... Show. Space modulator. <laughs> That's the best impersonation I've ever heard you do of anybody. <laughs> uh, like, yeah, Marvin the Martian is kind of my hero. Because you're like you're you're really bad at impersonations just in general. Yeah, we we have statues of Marvin on Mars. So oh well, well I mean it's a requirement. You, you can't graduate high school if you don't do a good impression of our leader. Uh, well, that, that would explain a few things. There you go. Next year's gonna suck. <laughs> uh, the twins keep telling me that I do an impersa- impersonation of Lilo, but I'm actually trying to do an impersonation of Bobby, and I guess Bobby and Lilo are <laughs> really, s- or, yeah, not Lilo, uh, Stitch. Uh, Stitch. Apparently, they're really close together, and I don't know. I never thought of it before, but they, yeah, they're not far off. Yeah, right. right. Howie Mandel versus some <laughs> random person doing Stitch, right? <laughs> <laughs> We look it up and it's Howie Mandel. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, someone get on that chat. <laughs> Ashley's been on the show for 22 minutes. She's already telling chat to do. She's already given chat room homework. Yo, the chat loves me. So <laughs> you know what? I've, I've, actually, they haven't said your name once. What They've chat? Get on least, that. Say my name or something. Say my time. name. Say my name. When no <laughs> one is around you. <laughs> Two different kind of. Uh, it's like Destiny's Child over here. So St- Stitch is actually played by Chris Sanders, um, who is famous for playing Stitch. Wow, <laughs> um, that's quite the legacy. I mean, if you're gonna be known for something, you might want to be known for the thing that you're known for. Yeah, he's uh, apparently he's more of a writer than he is a voice talent. So, um, let me explain why he'll talk like this. Someone in chat did say, say my name, uh, but well, it's not my name. <laughs> Ooh. You're getting all, awful specific suddenly. <laughs> they, don't, they, don't, they forgot I your hear, name. When I hear <laughs> say my chat. name, that makes me think of Breaking Bad. Amos, you watch oh, Breaking Bad. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Say my name. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 it's a different different kind there. It's like, you know, instead of say my name, say my name, it's like, say my name, say it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it starts with what's my name. I think. Yeah. Right? Say, hey, what's my name? And the guy was like, what? what? Then he says, say my name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Um, is that before or after he blew up all those people? Was, uh, that, was that the first time when he when he was time. in the? Huh? <laughs> Which time? Well, because uh, the first time I remember him very late in the series the that was uh, I believe it was either final. Actually, I think it was final season. I think it was final season. Hmm. I don't know. I only watched it once, and I had to catch up to it. That's mm. the show that I, I watched like seasons one through four right before season five, part one came out. Oh, and so then, you were way ahead of me. Oh, I yeah? binged it in about 30 days, I think, way after, like two years after it ended. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, I saw the last, the last half of the first half of the last season I was watching live. And I watched all of the last half of the, or the, all of the last half of the last season on time. But nobody knows what the hell you're talking about right now. The last season, season five, was split into two parts. So basically, they did two half seasons. So gotcha. I caught up to the series during the first half of that last season. So the gotcha. so episode like three, four, and five I watched in real time, and then six, seven, eight, nine, ten I watched in real time. Of of the last season. Gotcha. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Fucking figure it out, dude. <laughs> I, I think there was there was way less give a shit than understanding, and that interfered. I had a, a oh a glitch. <laughs> did you did you cock fall out? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> so speaking of TV shows, man, Game of Thrones <laughs> is going to start days. Speaking of cocks falling out, Game of Thrones is coming back on Sunday. Hey, there. Yeah, actually, it all see it all relates. <laughs> it does. It does. Um, Amber and Ashley have never seen Game of Thrones, a single episode, not at all, not anything other than the previews and free shit that they can watch when their mom's not around. Uh, I haven't seen that either. <laughs> see, she a, Ashley hadn't even seen that. Yeah, I, yeah, seen I would either. probably. I'd, I'd I'd wait if I were them. I would wait. Oh yeah uh, yeah yeah. Wait wait until uh, wait until the right before next next season. Since it's or been, until you're or until you're twenty six. You know, oh, whichever no. comes uh, first. I'm close to no. now. Yeah, well, see, oh, we, we were discussing. Okay, so uh, so Amber is 17 years old. Amber is old enough. Her mom doesn't let her. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go on a little tangent here about her mom. Uh, and I, I mean this in, in careful as much respect yeah. as I can muster. Um, so their mom is kind of kind of protective and sort of conservative. Okay. Um, so they don't get to watch the sexy shows, the, you know, 50 shades kind of stuff, or they don't, uh, which I can fully understand and endorse. They don't get to watch like, uh, 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 um, twilight. They didn't get to watch twilight until they came to our house and, you know, things like that. Like her, their mom is, is conservative like that. To be fair, nobody needs sparkly vampires. <clears throat> oh I, I think God. we just didn't watch Twilight because I didn't want to, but I like vampires. Um, <laughs> 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 I'll say again that I, I fully uh, support the, the suggestion of the sparkly vampires. Um, <laughs> not because they're sparkly, but because I like to I like that you can interpret burning in different ways. Um, all, that, all that being said, <clears throat> uh, I don't even remember. Oh, Amber. Amber is 17 years old. She can legally get into a pornographic movie in a theater shown in public. She can watch an NC-17, a hardcore porn, in a public well, theater. See, I mean, to be fair, that's not hard hardcore porn. It's like um, uh, compared to Twilight. So, oh, sure, sure. So sure. she can she can go into a porn in a theater right now if she wanted to. She can't watch a rated R movie. Mm. She's at that age where it's like, oh yeah, you can go watch people fuck, but you can't watch people get slashed up. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's not a problem we had when we were that age. Because we lived in small town America and we could get in at 15 to watch the R-rated movies. <laughs> <laughs> they were just happy to get our ticket money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, that's, that's true. I mean, but then again, I mean, also, we were buying cigarettes at 13. So, mm. I mean. Yeah, stealing them at 15. Um, <laughs> um, I'm, not, I'm not sure. Uh, what, what, was, what, was, what were you we saying? Uh, there, there's <laughs> there's a, a movie coming out for um, a series of books that I like. Uh, 
which is probably really goofy because everyone here is probably at least 30, but it's called Warriors. Um, and it, the, the books like kind of spare you the details, but in a movie setting, it's kind of hard to avoid battle scenes, which for the most part uh, feature cats either like getting bloodied or killed, uh, sometimes several times per battle. Uh, um, so the, the question is, you have a book series for people like under the age of like 16 or 17. And then you have a movie series for the books where it, it might be really hard to make it into a format where it won't be like rated something higher than their audience. So like they can't do too much gore or blood because then I'll get like an R or a, a um, 13 rating. Um, but a lot of the people that would want to see the movie would be like kids because it's about cats. Uh, so there's this huge question on how they're going to do it and how they're going to like try and get around that. Some people are saying it should be animated. Some people think it should be like live action. Um, we don't know the budget or anything or when it's coming out. So people don't really know how or if it's going to work. That, well, what did, you, what did you think of the Narnia movies? Uh, the, the movies that are based on the Chronicles of Narnia. Uh, they were pretty great. <laughs> Yeah, see, I, that's that's how I view like the the way to make a movie series like that, right. where it's based on children's books. Uh, it, it's a lot of battles, but n there's never gore. Right. Hmm. I, I I don't think it's dissimilar from like Harry Potter. Like you could really take Harry Potter in a direction that would be R rated very quickly. Oh yeah, uh, easy. The, 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 the situations, the battles. The the magic and the the uh, the, the vision the, not the visions but the the uh, 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 the visuals of the series could easily have been R and I'm sure that's one of the things that they had to temper down was just how how crazy they wanted the series to be Amber yeah cause it's it's got some dark moments mm -hmm. my thing is why like I don't know now I have questions about the cat movie. Yo, yo, uh, tell me whatever you want to ask, and I'll answer as much as I can. Well, real quick, I, I got one thing real quick. So, right. the cats, are they, like, anthropomorphic cats? No, no, like no, no, no. Okay, so it's... um. Yes. No. It's just cats, like house cats. Right, it's like uh, basically a bunch of house cats living out in the wild in, in clans or uh, different, like, sections, and they, they battle squads. with each other over food and access to uh like uh territory that isn't flooded by people or um house pets um and stuff like that uh and for the most part they leave each other alone until they don't and then it gets bloody i'm just like are the cats because in the books there's words in their cats are the cats going to be speaking <laughs> i don't know i mean they could go the route of making the entire movie silent but or I like, don't think that they would do that. Because I think it'd be weird just having a bunch of house cats just having like mouths and like talking. And, like, we're going to go fight these people. <laughs> well, oh. uh, <laughs> with, with subtitles. Like, <laughs> yeah. if, like if, if you think about Narnia, they, they had, uh, I don't remember his name. I want to yeah. say Asgore, but that's from Undertale. Asgore. They had the Lion Man. And he, uh, he talked, but he, he had, was still a lion. But it's going to be Asl a bunch of cats. Asl Aslan. Right. Aslan. Aslan, basically Jesus lion. Yes, um, exactly. But uh, there we go. I'm showing on the screen now the uh, the warriors. So uh, there's um at the the last book of the main like uh first series, uh one of the characters, um so the the leaders of each clan there's four clans. The leaders of each clan have nine lives, um and so if if they movie. if they die then they they come back. Uh, one of the leaders gets their stomach sliced open uh, by a cat with dog claws on its nails. Like it somehow uh, got dog claws. Um, uh, and so it gets its stomach sliced open and then it, it loses all nine lives in one go because the wound is so awful. Like I don't, they would have to leave that out for something like a, a PG-13 or for a uh, uh, lower rated movie like a lot of the the, the more b brutal scenes in the original series like a cat getting her face brutally scarred by a dog attack would have to be cut out and i think a lot of people would be super upset if a big character like that was just cut out 
or uh, literally like yeah <laughs> was just a <laughs> uh, uh, cut out um, because she's she's a pretty big character um, so you're calling her fat yeah I'm just like <laughs> imagine a family going to the movies and like mom let's go watch the warriors it's got cats and then you go in there a little baby and it's like scarred right there's like their favorite animals getting like ruined right that's like They'd either have to go really friendly route or do at least PG thirteen plus. Like there's there's really no in between for this. Or they could not show any gore and have all of the the uh, big fans who are like people like thirteen and up who are actually they read the books like in the correct order and they're kind of dedicated to it. They would be disappointing all those people. So mm. they can either appeal to the biggest audience or appeal to the people who like devote themselves to these books. So it, it, it's like a balancing act that I don't know if they can manage. I want to know what happens with the show during the sexy scenes. There is none. There's <laughs> cats. Um, it's, it's like in, the, um, in the book when they need a poo, they, they say they need to make dirt and then they go into a clearing and you never cool. see it. So we'll dirt. I, w- I would imagine that the... Uh, oh my God. There <laughs> has to be make dirt jokes. There's got to be dirt <laughs> jokes all through it. Like just, <laughs> just rampant dirt jokes. Like, hey... Where's Jimmy <laughs> making dirt? It's, it's like making it, that, dirt. that just has to be all through it, all um, through the whole thing. It's growing so uh, No, no, Jay, no cat porn, please. Okay. We don't need that. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, oh maybe if they make a rated R someone, version. Someone commented cat porn with a question mark as soon yeah. as you said it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. Um, right. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't know. I, I think, I think if, if they actually showed cat porn, that might be the most violent part of it because. <laughs> Cause holy shit, like like cats Cat, getting it on. If, if they had voice actors, they just scream into yeah, the mic. Yeah, exactly. No. Have, you, have you heard cats fucking? Like it is not a pleasant no. sound. Like you thought oh your God. parents getting it on was bad. Oh holy God. shit. No. <laughs> you, you hear cats in the parking lot and you're like, oh shit, I'm just gonna just sneak into mom and dad's room for a minute. Mm. Like, <laughs> uh, wow, that took a turn. <laughs> Uh, uh, speaking of cat porn, when's the last time you watched a dog poop? Because that's some funny shit right there. Uh, three hours ago, yeah. probably. See, and you were smiling, weren't you? Why? Because <laughs> it's impossible to watch a dog take a crap and not smile. That's just, yeah, it's just so I, awkward. I usually grimace. It's like a- <laughs> the way they just look around, like they're they're checking. Like they they feel guilty. They know they're vulnerable. They're balancing like they're they're balancing on their <laughs> front paws. <laughs> they're doing a handstand. Jotmont says dog poop is funny shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they're, they're, like Amber said, they're doing handstands, but their butt's on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, if you if you watch like a bulldog, like their arms aren't all that long to begin with, so they're basically like their whole body just flopped on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> they're basically like laying down with one arm looking up. <laughs> oh god. The look of shame. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and that's every Never. time. Like I can't not laugh when I see a dog pooping. Yeah, it's pretty great. And, and I have to wonder, like, what's what did my dog think when he walked into me in the bathroom? You know, was he like, <laughs> was he sitting there like, ha, 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 look at you sitting down all proper? Ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look at you making dirt. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Hey man, um, uh, yeah. So Game of Thrones. Yeah, man, I'm hyped. I'm hyped. I cannot wait. It's I way. I watched oh, like man. three versions of the 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 script is leaked and the story is all known and blah 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 blah. And I got to tell you, all three of them they were completely different, and all of them were like, I would watch this. Oh right, yeah. Well, there. I mean, there's so many fascinating ways that you could go with the story. There's yeah. there's um there's a thing for that. It's called fan fiction. There you go. It's usually uh, awful. Uh, it's always awful. Have you have you read the books? No. They're amazing, but they ramble on like as if all the fan fiction was was pulled into the same book. It's ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, give me uh, give me give me one prediction for this uh, for this coming season. One prediction for this coming season. I okay. So, <laughs> I believe that. Every John time Smith. someone says "I believe," every time they start a sentence with "I believe," I think of Larry the Cable Guy or Ron I White. Believe. I believe. Yeah, or just yeah. yeah. Either of the other ones as well. Anyway, so 
my prediction is that Jon Snow and Daenerys Targaryen are going to hook up. They're like, gonna, as hook up, I mean, every way, every way that you can use the phrase hook up. They're going to they're gonna make dirt? <laughs> uh, well, can I, I mean... Can I point out the dog dirt fan fiction? Um, <laughs> <laughs> please, no. <laughs> uh, no. Okay, so so Daenerys and uh, Jon Snow, uh, er- Aerys Targaryen. A.K.A. A- Jon Targaryen. Oh, you just said that. It's... <laughs> Yeah, it's it's his name's his name's no Aegon Targaryen. He's Aegon Targaryen the third or some shit like that. Oh sure, okay, yep, we can go with that. That's sure. Out of out of all of the out of all the rumors and oh. stuff like that that people are guessing about, you know what what uh what Sam will find out in the Citadel is that John's real name is is Aegon. He's another no. Aegon. Okay, okay, I no, I'm disputing that. First of all. No, his mother. This is clearly shown last season. His mother named him John, <laughs> so his name is fucking John. And second, this was a super secret. The, the the baby was born, then the baby was whisked off by by Ned Stark. What what the fuck would be written down in the Citadel? Everyone that was there either died or their name is Ned Stark. There would be no record of birth. Uh, I think there was. I don't think so. Uh, no, I, I'm I'm saying thumbs down to that prediction. Can, okay. Can I make a prediction? Uh, for someone who's never watched the show, of course you can. Uh, someone will die. Mm. At least two people will die. That um, actually goes. That is actually my prediction. I I predict that John will kill Littlefinger. I thought you were gonna say John will kill himself. I was like, whoa. No, John's already died like twice. Okay. Yeah. I think John will kill Littlefinger. See, I think Littlefinger will I think Littlefinger will die next season. I think he'll ne- die in the final I, season. I think I think he dies this season in Winterfell. And I predict, and I predict Sansa kills him. That's gonna that's that's what I was gonna say. Is either I, I think John will kill him. John will deliver the killing blow, but I think it'll be at the behest of Sansa. I think she will be the 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 pusher behind them. She'll be the, the one to provide the motive. Hmm. Okay. So it'll Fair it'll be, it'll be Sansa's words or or intentions and John's actions that'll kill Littlefinger this season. Hi, Jen. <laughs> um. Yeah. Oh. Hey, Jen. Awesome. Um. Hi, Jen. Awesome. Uh, it's, it's the Jen. Hi, All right. Yeah. Hi, the Jen. <laughs> not just any Jen. How do you know it's not the Jen? Like as one word. Because I asked her at dinner. She said it's the Jen. Well, yeah, and I asked her on a separate occasion, and oh, she, she left. Was very clear. Wow, bye. <laughs> wow, she bye, just she just flits along. <laughs> um, either way, man, any of the scenarios that that you and I presented will be incredible to watch unfold on the screen. And I just, man, I'm so excited. So this is the first season that's going to be almost 100 percent fresh material that was never in a book. This is one of those conversations that we could go on for for literally hours talking about who and what is going to happen where. Um, <laughs> Joe Mon, Joe Mon trying to ju- trying to ride on on the Jens. Uh, 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 <laughs> um, <sighs> man, I'm, I'm. Do you think we're going to see? Uh, Caitlin Stark again. Catelyn? Yeah. Um, I'm going to guess probably not. Um, so in, in any form? I don't think so. Okay. so. In the book, it books. Oh, and, uh, and by the way, if, if you're if you're watching this and you, this is all spoiler territory for you, then you should probably just go watch some HBO. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I uh, yeah, my so my apologies. I'm not going to get into too much detail, but it's still spoilerific. In the books, Catelyn does appear in some form later on, mm-hmm. uh, but I believe in the TV show they just wrote it out. Yeah, I, we're so far past the point in the story where she made her appearance that I I think they're just going to kind of gloss that over. I I think she's dead. Okay, in the um, series, and I think she's dead. How how soon do you think Arya gets to Winterfell? 
uh, pretty quickly. She got to the. Um, I mean, like episode the, episode number. There's but seven episodes, right? Right. I I'd say like episode two, three at the latest. Three at okay. the latest. She's at Winterfell. That's my prediction because the, when we last see her, she's at the twins already. Mm. She was at Essos, the episode prior, or like at the beginning of that episode. Right. And she right. went all the way north to the twins. It's. I mean, at that speed, she'll be there before episode one is over. Yeah. Do you? Uh, <laughs> do, will, will she? Uh, will she meet up with the Hound beforehand or afterwards? Well, that's I, a good I question. think it's a foregone conclusion that she meets back up with the Hound. By the way. Uh, yeah, yeah, almost for sure. I, mm, man, that's a good question. I probably before because I bet she teams back up with him and they they basically join forces and join John. Okay, so uh, big time question here, and this is the last time I'll get into the spoiler ter- spoilery territory. Um, she has a list of people that she wants to kill. Uh-huh. How many people are on that list? Uh, at the beginning or no, left? right now, uh, uh, currently in, in the story. Oh man. Um, how many people are left alive that's on that list? I can only think of right now. I can only think of one that would be Cersei. Well, I mean, technically the hound is still on, on her list. Well, tr- yeah, true. But I think he, I bet in is, her is, mind is that paid, he, she killed. Yeah. He died. Yeah. I think in her mind. So his, you know, he was already, his name was crossed off. So I think his debt is paid, like you said. Yeah. And Cersei is the only other one I can think of right now that's still alive. Was, was the mountain on there? I don't think he was. Yeah, he's dead. Well, well I, don't, I don't remember if he was or not, but he's, he is no longer with us. Well, okay. At, mm, mm, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, right. So I don't know. I, th- I think that'd be inter- uh, I, You know what? I'm going to look that up real quick. Uh, why don't you uh, stall for a second? Yeah. So, all right. So, the mountain is, in fact, um, I mean, you could argue either way that he's dead or that he's alive. Um, but either way, I don't think he was ever on Arya's list. But I could very, I could very easily be wrong on that. Um, okay, so Jeffrey Baratheon is gone. Cersei Lannister is still, still there. Walter Frey, she took care of. Uh, Marin Trant. Um, the one that she blames for killing Sirio. Yeah, that... Mm. Yeah, I'm not oh, sure if... I if think he's still Trant, alive. He probably is, because I don't um, remember him. Dying. Tywin is gone. Melisandre. When did Melisandre? Oh, okay, okay. Uh, because, all right, because she okay. was because she was searching for Gendry. Um, who, by the way, by all accounts, Gendry's coming back. Yeah, that'll is, be that'll be interesting twist to the whole story because he's he's essentially it's pointless for him right now. Yeah, I mean he's like. By it, rights, he was kind of always pointless because he was a bastard child anyway, so he had no right to the throne. He was just proof that Robert was messing around. But now that Robert's gone, none of that matters. Well, right, but he, he was a bastard child, but he is a living child of right. Robert's. He's probably the only living child of Robert's alive in the Seven Kingdoms. Right yeah, now. but you, you saw how hard it was for John to, for John to get the loyalty of the northern, northern men. Oh, uh, sure. No, I'm not saying it would be, you know, I, I think by, by the law of the land, he's probably the king. Yeah. Or uh, would have been, would have been. Right. Um, Beric Dondarrion? Hmm. For selling Gendry out to Melisandre? Yeah. Um, and Thoros of Mir, same thing. I, that'll be interesting if she tries to go, out, go against the Brotherhood. Because, yeah. Especially I, with her affiliation in the books with, uh, with her mom. I don't know. That'd be a weird one. Yes, that exactly. might be some. That might be a better story for the books than it will be for the show. Yep, absolutely. Uh, uh, Ellen Payne, I'm pretty sure is is gone. I think I want to say like. Um, yeah, I think he. I think. I th- yeah, I think he's well. Sh- he died in like season three or something. He he was the one that uh, was. He was the executioner that killed Ned. Right, but he was still going to. He was going to be. Um, uh, what the, what the hell is the fucking dwarf's name? Uh, Tyrion? Yeah, he was supposed to be Tyrion's executioner. 
Right. So he was at least there, there for that. Right. Your little fucking creepy ass puku doll. Um, <laughs> the mountain, the mountain was on there, but uh, whether or not, and then the hound, of course. So yeah, legitimately, it's Melisandre and mm-hmm. Cersei. Yeah. So, so that'll yeah. be interesting. Be- and uh, enough of all that. So now that you know all about Game of Thrones, Ash, um, <laughs> do you have any other guesses? Um, any other predictions for the for the season coming up? Uh, the mountain. Yeah. Will be pictured near a mountain. Oh, okay. Uh, so it'll it'll be kind of like um uh imagery metaphor something that my teacher taught me at one point. Interesting enough, that would actually mean something substantial because there are no real mountains near King's Landing where the mountain currently is. So that would mean that he was somewhere else. Maybe, maybe Atlantisport where there are, are mountains. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. That's, yeah. That, that's actually but, surprisingly but, prescient. All right. Um, thanks. No, that could be nothing because he works for Cersei. So, I mean, that's the, <gasps> Ooh, actually. Okay. I take it back. That could actually mean everything. If Cersei is Atlantisport. Right. It, 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 that would mean a lot if she was Atlantisport, and that's the only way that he would be there. Do you have right. any predictions, Amber? I wasn't listening. Thanks, <laughs> Amber. <laughs> so, Amber fell asleep. Yeah. A- Amber, Amber <laughs> predicts that the show that's will be on HBO next season. Yeah, exactly. Um, so a pretty safe bet there. Um, if not, there is a problem. So, Amber, uh, mark it on your schedules now. Uh, Amber is predicting problems with the release of the final season on HBO. Definitely. Yep. Absolutely. Which actually might be uh, might be br- really good, too, because with it being the last season, there's going to be a lot of people wanting to watch it. It might overload the servers again, as it did uh, uh, last season. Mm. So, there you go. when, uh, when Jon Snow woke up, they crashed the servers on uh, the first day. All right. Yep. Um, well, there we go. Yeah, and audio and video keeps cutting out. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on. I'm, I'm, I've got my little green light down here. Uh, I've got some ideas, but mm. the recording will be fine. So maybe we just have to catch it later. Hi. That's, I have, that's a way I have to re- that's a way to uh, to uh, to to reward our live viewer viewers is by saying, "Ah, you should just watch it later." <laughs> <laughs> this is why we got the uh, this is why we got the good Patreon money coming in. I've got I've got one one final thing one final uh, point that I want to make uh, before we start wrapping the show up. Uh, is it about uh, Game of Thrones? No. Woo. I we closed that book, right? I thought thought we did. I was just making sure. I mean, you know, I still had my hand on the page. <laughs> no, no, I'm I'm done talking about Game of Thrones. Um, I just wanted to give a shout out uh, to one of our favorite people here at the Ritual Misery Podcast. Yeah, uh, Sergeant Muffin. Mm. I believe mm. he was the subject of our tithe uh, several months back. Yep. And um, I think it's just uh, it's appropriate to do it again. Uh, the man is a hero. He has um, done so much to bring this community closer. And um, I don't think that his accomplish- accomplishments can be overstated. Um, yeah. He is um, he like he is no kidding uh, a hero and a living legend. And um, I just wanted to um, just I just felt like saying that I wanted to salute him. Uh, hey, and, uh, um, we we, uh, we we don't do this very often, but I would like a uh, I know there's probably only what 10 people in the chat room right now. Uh, go ahead and hit him on Twitter. Let's just all hit him on Twitter uh, at Sergeant Muffin and just uh, just say uh, uh, what do you want to say? The Thursday night chat room. Thank you. <laughs> Um, you could just or, say or dog just, dirt fan fiction. We, we, or um, we, we salute you, Sergeant Muffin. There we go. We salute you, Sergeant Muffin. Yep. Uh, let's all let's all do that real quick. I'm going to do it right right now, actually. We salute you, Sergeant Muffin. I uh, I don't have a Twitter, so I'll have to sit this one out. Ashley's gonna uh, she's gonna do it by proxy. <laughs> yeah. I can do it on Instagram if he has that. That's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> might he might actually. All right, so mine is done. Um, thank you for you know to everyone who who uh, participates in that. Um, no, he he's awesome. He should be celebrated, and uh, we all love him around these parts. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Um, hey man, uh, it's been a it's been an awkward week. It certainly has, and um, I'm glad the weekend is almost here. Hey, uh, next week we have Manuel from uh, from Belgium. 
uh, an individual I met doing the uh, the Undaunted podcast. He's going to be on, calling us in from calling in from from Belgium. Um, so it'll be like super late night or uh, super early morning for him. Yeah, it'll actually be super early morning for him. Um, so that's going to be awesome. We have a limited amount of time left on DiamondClub.tv in its current incarnation. Um, so we, we are going to begin the, the, the transition to Twitch uh, shortly because that is the most popular streaming platform for us to be on. Um, we will be, if I, if I can help it, we will be the last show, the last live show on DiamondClub.tv when Dan hands over the reins. I've already called dibs on that shit. Um, <laughs> already told Dan about that. We uh, if, if all goes well, unless Brian and Justin decide to do something, we will be doing a a Diamond Club meetup via the digital form that is diamondclub.tv. Uh, we will be hosting that when the server changes hands, shuts down, whatever diamondclub.tv ends up, uh, it, whatever happens with it, we will be there when that happens. Um, even if I have to take a day off work or whatever else, like that'll fucking happen. And yep. uh, once we get more information on that, we'll let you know. We are uh, we do have a, a pretty talented group of people trying to figure out what's next for diamondclub.tv. And uh, as you said, uh, the, the contributions of, of Sergeant Muffin cannot be understated. He built the entire thing with the help of many people, and it's been amazing. Uh, we're sad to see Dan go, but uh, life takes you in places. Yeah. Well, I mean, Dan's not going anywhere. He's still going to be a member of the community. It's just the, um, you know, the day-to-day of the domain and right. um, the CDN and all of that sort of stuff. Uh, he's gonna hand the reins over, and it's gonna be an interesting. Uh, it's gonna be. I'm actually really looking forward to see what the next incarnation is. Mm-hmm. And um, I don't know, man. It's gonna be a fun ride. Yep. So to all of you out there, and I should probably hit the little button now, huh? <laughs> There's a little button. Um, okay. Everybody out there in uh, in uh, ritual misery land. Uh, Keep it going. Uh, every, everything's awesome. Everything's awesome. Yee. And you're part of a team. So, um, wait, wait. I'm gonna. I'm gonna we, 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 we haven't done appropriate things yet. Um, Ashley, did you send me the, that stuff yet? Yeah. It well, should be in your Gmail. Well, shit. Um, <laughs> I wanted to take the chance because both of my daughters are far more artistic than I am. Amber is a little bit more private about it because she left all her drawings and stuff at home, and she's like, "Screw you, Dad. I'm not writing some new shoe." <laughs> um, so I'm going to share with the audience a, a couple of pictures from, uh, from, from Ashley here. Hi. Um, let everybody catch on what's, uh, what's yeah, going on here. Nice. Very nice. So, and, and, and she does all this shit on her phone with like her fingers. Like, I don't, I don't get it. It's on my iPad. It's, oh, whatever. It's easier with my fingers at this point. Like I, I have to practice traditional art more because I've gotten too used to iPad. <laughs> so there you go. There's the dig- digital divide happening right now. Um, okay, so who's this? Um, this is someone else's character that I did for Art Fight, which is a website. Uh, thank you, Vile, in the chat. You, you're thank you. Um, but it's it's someone else's character. Uh, yeah, I think it's a sea otter, is what they said. <laughs> um, okay. I did it for Art Chat, where y- you make art for people, and then random people make art for you. Um, oh. So next we have. Um, this is Frost. Uh, it's a character that I made for my friend because I have a ton of characters, and she doesn't have any. Um, so it's it's basically the character that's supposed to represent her, except way more grumpy. <laughs> uh, Fair it's enough. Still, it's a it's a very cute character. Thank you. Um, and now you can start to see that she's actually my child. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is my nihilistic uh I hate everyone character Rai. Um he doesn't like anyone. <laughs> uh he doesn't like existing either, but he kinda has to. Uh, oh, is he is he a dog? Uh yes. He's okay. some kind of weird dog mutt. <laughs> uh and <laughs> yeah. There again. Um those are the only ones I sent, but I have a bunch more on my Instagram if anyone is interested. And what is your Instagram? Throw that link out there. Uh, it's August, just like the month, and underscore, and then was, W-O-E-S. Oh, okay. 
August underscore woes. Thank you guys. You, you guys are really nice. Uh, they're, they're saying you should, uh, you should start doing some Twitch streaming of you doing your art. Uh, I would love to. Um, I'd have to figure out how to make it work, though, because I draw it all on my iPad. Uh, we'll figure it out. Yeah. There's a Twitch um, I, iOS 11 is amazing as far as capturing video and things like that. So capturing yeah. screens and everything. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out before you leave. Yeah. Before uh, uh, she, uh, Jen, the Jen wants to know if that's Ethan Kane's spirit animal. Did you or did, you, <laughs> did you model this after me? Is that um, what this is? He's he's the god of acrimony. So he he's the god of all negative feelings. Oh, so oh my god! Anger, disgust, uh, deity for Amos's own heart. So. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, this really works. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, Eric, did you I want to say something? Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, I got it. Um, today is my uh, one of my best friend's birthdays, so shout out to Sarah. Happy 23rd birthday. Happy Ooh. birthday, Sarah. Birthday, Sarah. Yeah. Um, cool, baby, baby, cool. I'm someone in one. chat said you know, lightning that. digital AV adapter. Is that for uh, streaming art on Twitch? Uh, that is to push it to your PC, which will allow you to go through Twitch. But uh, you're, I don't know if your computer would handle it, so we will figure it out. And uh, right. we mean you can get me. Uh, that's I mean that's something we can work on. I don't understand Twitch, but I do understand streaming. Okay. I understand Twitch, so there you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> um, hey Kent, what do you want to push this week, man? Uh, just my Twitter. Uh, not a lot going on uh, the last few weeks, but um, uh, there will be soon. There will be stuff happening there at rm underscore del noche. Follow me there, and uh, anything I do anywhere else, I will link there. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, you can find me at Ethan Kane, and um, now I can actually hit the button, and we can start closing this shit out. Amber, what's your Twitter handle? I don't have one. There you go. And Ashley, what's yours? I don't have one. Okay, so uh, so <laughs> I have an Instagram. You there can you follow that. What's your Instagram? Pulling it up. It's um. Do you not know your Instagram? That's so unofficial. With only one S. Yeah, it's like, yeah. Uh, thanks for posting my Instagram again. Um. There you go. They're uh, they're taking after you now and talking over the post show. Yeah. Good night. Good night. Oh. Ow. Yeah, that's, that, Sorry. Was, that was loud. That was I much. apologize sincerely. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>